Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, November 20th, 2019. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here the ES continues to drive higher within the uptrending nature of this market here. Ever since we had the, the, the double dip shakeout here and the big push up, it's been a very bullish market. Every pullback has been bought. There has not been two consecutive down days in this up move here. Uh, since we had the two big sell-off days here, we've only had one-day pullbacks. Uh, we haven't had two-day declines in a row. So today would be a two-day decline in a row uh, after yesterday's down day. It would be the first such instance in this move higher. I believe it's one of the longest, if not the longest, streaks that we've seen for the ES. Uh, right here, again, eight-period average continues to be bid, 3,100 right there. Again, not likely to close lower today given the trend, given everything we've seen unless proven otherwise. So right now this pullback provides an opportunity for bulls to buy for an afternoon continuation higher. Wouldn't surprise me if by the end of the day we're somewhere above 31.20, 31.24, somewhere in that zone. Uh, could be a nice continuation higher the rest of the session. Now again, needs to hold 3100. Doesn't mean the lows are in for the day either. Uh, we'll see. Again, anything below the 8 period average or at the 8 period average has been bid this entire way and it's not going to change until it does. So right now everything is still pushing higher. This pullback in the down day right now not likely to stay that way as we could see new highs pretty soon. Alright, let's take a look here now at the NQ. The NQ also pulling back from highs, also very close to the 8 period average, still been very very bullish in this up move. Uh, Again, this one has not had two down days in a row since the original sell-off here that began October. After that, it's been just one single down day followed by a continuation higher. So again, yesterday was not, I don't believe, a down day. It looks like a doji there. Let's see. The open to the close, it is a down day by a little bit. And so again, today, uh, pulling back, showing some tail off the lower end of the range. Again, if it can continue to hold 82.75 in that zone uh, on any pullback even below 8 period it could still be a buy for a continuation higher uh, again this market right now if it starts to get above 83 35 it starts to open up quite a bit more upside alright let's take a look now at crude oil crude oil pulled back quite a bit yesterday I mentioned before that we could be looking at a bounce here off the lower part of the channel I mentioned anything below 56 is or below these lows could be an opportunity to trap in the previous session it looked like it wanted to early and then just could not find footing instead it sold off throughout the rest of the day and today is showing strength so we could be seeing the bounce occur now off the uh, the lower edge of the boundary here so you can see again that lower channel boundary right there starting to see some reaction big sell off in the previous session here today uh, that right there is a bullish extreme reversal that could lead to again a push higher perhaps we get into 58.50 maybe as high as 59 I mentioned before if we can bounce off 56 it could be a three handle move higher instead we're bouncing off 55 perhaps 58 to 59 could be ahead overall uh, this market right now is pushing nicely higher off the two a.m. lows uh, any pullback even as deep as 55 in a quarter could still be a buying opportunity for a continuation higher the rest of the day. All right, let's take a look now at gold futures. You'll see here with gold that it has done just enough to push off the recent lows, but also isn't doing enough to really explode higher right now. It's done just enough to find a rejection and pop back above the previous month's low. It's done just enough to reject those prices and form a higher low. It's done just enough to get a higher high now, but it hasn't been able to get above 1480 here. And the test this morning at 7920 was just enough to turn this thing back around. It's about the same time that crude oil rallied is the time that this thing turned off the highs and pulled back. But again, if it can get above 1478 here, that could go a long way towards squeezing back toward 1500. Again, the idea was that. Uh, on this day we added it to our watch list as a buy candidate that could turn back toward 1500 as long as price rejects 1465 and that's exactly what's happened so far although today we are seeing a little bit of a rejection off the highs 
again, 1460 to 1465 remains the, the key swing zone. Today, we may be seeing more weakness on an intraday basis, uh, especially if price can't hold 1470. Okay, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.